Hello everybody, it's me, how have you been? It's been a while. Um, I promised a questions and shout out video a while ago. Obviously the uh, the Jonas Brothers, no, 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 the Schmidt Brothers video went over well. So um, Kindle and I, say hello. Hello. Decided to do it again. So uh, without a delay, let's go. What's our first question? All right, all right. When is PPP coming out? You know, that's a good question, and I wish Disney Channel would inform me on that, but I feel like it's the third week of June. Hey, what does the G stand for in your name? G, well, uh, I'm named after my dad's middle name, which is Gerard. Kevin Gerard. That's very Schmidt. interesting. That's Isn't very it? interesting, Isn't yeah. Isn't amazing? Is there a way to get ASP without using the internet, Kevin? You know, uh, there isn't, really. We um, decided, hold on, stop, car. We decided to market it straight through the internet because one, it allows us to go straight to you guys and let us know what you want and how you like it and how well it's received. And two, we're in charge of the distribution. So if you guys order, I know a lot of kids, their parents will let them order off the internet, but hey, this is the distributor. My parents handle it. They package everything. They send it out. So if you order, it will get to you. I promise. Money back guarantee. That's all I got to say. Lickety split. So I got to ask you, Kev. What inspired poor Paul? Wow, poor Paul was... Um, the ability to have creative say in something that I'm passionate about, which is storytelling. Uh -huh. I got together with um, Sean, who was an editor uh, and producer on the Alice in Stoner Project, and he actually plays Mr. Ted on the Poor Paul uh, show itself. But yeah, we just we just wanted a project where we could have fun, we could shoot it on the weekends, improvise at will, and it's comedy. I don't get uh, a chance to do that very often. Well, that's a good thing. If you come from a small town, how do you get an agent or manager? Well, this guy came from a small town, Andover, Kansas. Um, what did I do? I moved to where it was happening, which is Los Angeles, and the sun feels good. And uh, and I met with agencies. You know, they take meetings with kids that are from the small towns because that's how they thrive. They bring in the next breed of Hollywood, and they hopefully can groom them into success. So you got to start somewhere, right? That's what I did, yeah. When did you start acting? I started at 10. I mean, I dabbled in, in modeling since I was like six years old, went out to New York and LA, but I took it seriously at about 10 years old, so I'm a decade in it. You know? A decade? That sounds like a really long time. Well, it's 10 years. I know, it's just freaky. Uh, did you get along with your YNR castmates? Absolutely. Everybody on the show is professionals, and they're the sweetest and nicest people, regardless of what characters they play, um, especially my immediate family, Josh and Sharon and uh, Peter. I always have a blast. It's like a, it's like a big family there. Um, who would you want to work with more on the show? Honestly, I love working with Peter. Um, I haven't had any scenes with Jeannie yet, which, you know, obviously she's been on the show forever, and I would love to hopefully soak up some of that experience, and so maybe Jeannie, yeah. All right, wait, 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 wait. we got to look left? Look left, oh yeah. Cars? No, we're good. We're good? We're good. We're okay. Right. We're, we're okay. Watch yeah. out. Oh, oh, I'm sh kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you actually got me on that. I know, I did, because uh, you're filming. So what is your ultimate Halloween costume? Ultimate out, we gotta cross the street. Across we're going to the obstacle oh, yeah. course over there. Do you see there's it? an obstacle course right over there. Jungle, jungle gym. And we're gonna get the we're gonna get the work. Hey, hey, there's Burbank PD. All right. You know what I mean? Keeping us safe to serve to and protect. protect and yeah. Give kids jaywalking tickets. Oh yeah. Which is what we might get here soon. Yep. Uh, what were we? What was the question? We have to have a permit to film this. <laughs> yeah, everything in LA does. Your but ultimate Halloween costume. Well, I was lucky. I had two Halloween costumes this year. Did you? Obviously, the gecko from the Poor Paul Halloween special, which you should all watch because it's hilarious. And my actual Halloween costume, which I wore out on Halloween this year, was Michael Phelps. I had my, my swim cap and my Speedo trunks and my, and my swim shoes. I bet that, uh, I bet that looked really nice. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. What? What? Made it to the obstacle course. Continue the questions. Question, do you still keep in touch with the cheaper cast, and is there a chance of another one? The cheaper cast, well, Allison obviously. Um, Bonnie and I have a wonderful relationship. She's one of my biggest mentors, taught me how to write, be creative. Um, I see, I talk to Forrest every once in a while, Mark, and the rest of the kids I kind of see in and out, but is there a chance of a third one? If it's up to Fox, no. If it's up to me, yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Maybe just maybe? I'm working on it. What's your favorite band and or singer? Favorite band or singer? I'm a big 90s alternative rock fan, i.e. Third Eye Blind. Oh, there you go. Amazing. Yep. Um, so that would be Stephen Jenkins, correct? Yes. Incubus, big fan. Brandon Boyd. Or Incubus, of course. I mean, who couldn't love Incubus? Um, 
I like a lot of R&B, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a big Pussycat Doll fan. Oh, you? well, what do you know? Yeah. Taking Back Sunday is my ultimate favorite band, and Sublime, because who doesn't love Bradley? So. Hmm. Finally. Yes. I know you're working on music. Yes. And you've got a couple music videos available on the AllisonStonerProject.com website. Oh, yes, AllisonStonerProject.com. But when can we see more? Well, I'm working on a demo right now, trying to get some songs recorded with uh, my buddy John Gass, who's done people like Whitney Houston and, and uh, Usher and all the TLC is another one, and uh, working on that right now. But I got some covers, though. You can check out, and see, you know, check out the pipes or whatever. You can go on my YouTube channel, which is Kendall Schmidt, but the E in Kendall is a three. So K3 I'll just post it at the bottom of the video. Yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it. Hey, why don't you show us what Sissy did to your eye yesterday? Sissy? Yeah. She beat the crap out of Our me. little dog, she's, she just did a reverse Chris Brown. No. Look at that. <laughs> if you had a chance to do your own movie, who would you cast and why? Well, if I had a chance to do my own movie, I would probably cast uh, Jake McDorman, Brittany Robertson, Ashley Benson, Nick Braun, Jeremy Sumter, and uh, Scout Taylor Compton and myself. Yeah, it would probably be a psychological thriller named Yellick. They all sound really, really familiar. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that, though. Hey, really important question. This yeah. is the biggest one of all. Let's hear it. Are you Kevin Schmidt, no, Kevin G. Schmidt, single? Uh, I'm a taken man. I have a beautiful and talented woman in my life. Are you single? Yes, actually, I am. I'm very single. And, You're uh, single? How can you be single? You're well, six you foot know. tall, good looking kid, writer, producer, actor. Musician, this doesn't make any sense. So many things to worry about that uh, I just don't have time for right now. But would you be okay with a very cute girl asking you to be her boyfriend one day? Well, listen, it's not just about being cute as well. They have to be driven. Uh huh. They have to have their own thing going, and uh, they also have to be funny because cute just doesn't matter. So. That's cool. Who are you? Who am I? Wow, that's a broad question. That's a very I'm, uh, broad question. I'm a driven, passionate, focused, creative. Grounded, loving, respectful human being. I say this every day. I see there's a sign in my life. It's 111. And every time I see it, I take a minute to be thankful for where I'm at and what I have in my life. So uh, it shows up a lot these days. And it could be anywhere. I think it's because of a lot of positive action. It's probably around us right now. But um, yeah, that's who I am. True. Go to the monkey bars. What is it like to be famous, Kevin? I'm not famous. That's what I was kind of trying to figure out by the question. Like, not Miley Cyrus. No, what is no. famous? Yeah. Peanut butter or jelly? Woo! Together, always, if I had to have them separately, peanut butter. There you go. Protein. What's your favorite show to watch as a kid? Oh, I love Power Rangers. I'll be honest. Really? With you. Yeah. I was I was upset because I only had to watch half the show before I had to go to school. So I um that was a tough time in my life. All Inspirations. Right. Um, my family is a huge inspiration of mine. Uh, Bonnie Hunt, as I said. Um, DiCaprio, big fan of his work and his humanitarian efforts. Spielberg, obviously, I have to do a shout out to Spielberg. Hey man, I've worked with him before. Honestly, anybody ah. who's passionate and, and focused and driven and wants to give back, those are my inspirations. Well, there There's you go. so many of them. You know what, that was the last question, so maybe we should uh, get our workout on. Should we sign off? Should we sign off? I don't know. We already walked like a mile and a half, and I hit my head on the monkey bars, and I'm not feeling too hot anymore. So you're probably going to pass out or something. Maybe right here. You going cold? Huh? Yeah? Hey, so Kendall and I have been going back and forth about who's faster. We're about to find out. Are any of you soap fans, or...? <laughs> really? She loves I love Young and the Restless. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Especially one of the particular characters on Young and the Restless. You have a crush? The camera fell. Yeah, no one. No one. No one Newman? That's not bad though. I think it was a tie. I'll just say it was a tie. And we'll just say it's a tie, otherwise so it'll hurt his feelings. So it's 5.30 Eastern downtime for you guys so you can watch your show? Or? Well, I usually catch all of his scenes on YouTube.